Hey guys, Brian Stevens here with the National Real Estate Post. I want to let you know that Carl White, the marketing animals, have a freedom podcast, Loan Officer Freedom Podcast. And what they do is they bring on great speakers who are going to share their secrets with you so you as a loan officer can glean what they know so you can blow your business up like they blew theirs up. And boy, we need this in 2022, don't we? It's free. Give it a shot, guys. You might learn something tomorrow that you didn't know today. Click this banner right over there. Now on with the show. Movement Mortgage put 165 to 170 folks on the chopping block. These would be underwriters, dock drawers, closers, you know, the standard fare for these type of shrinking markets. Shrinking markets, I think the industry knows this, its nomenclature is margin compression. Quote, South Carolina-based Movement Mortgage laid off around 170 employees in March, another case of a top 25 mortgage lender parring back its workforce due to a more challenging origination landscape. This has been in the works for quite some time. There's an article from back in February where the Charlotte Observer already knew movement was staring down the barrel of layoffs as they quietly laid off staff for a certain type of loan. Now, from the article, starting Monday, such borrowers will continue to receive upfront underwriting, but movement will wait to process a loan until applicants have found a property. This is what the company said. The change eliminates additional and often unnecessary work for borrowers and movement operations staff, according to Movement Mortgage. All right, I get it. So what was vital before is now... I guess unnecessary. All that pesky processing, eh, it's unnecessary now. I didn't need to do it in the first place. Anyways, so the writing has been on the wall for quite a while with these guys. So now Movement joins the ranks of Better.com, Interactive Mortgage, Freedom Mortgage, Penny Mac, USA, Interfirst, and so many more that didn't even garner headlines. They've all begun lopping off domes of their support staff. That means service starts to go down, doesn't it? No doubt the PR machines are already in full force saying how much they appreciate the hard work and the dedication and yada, yada, yada. Yada, 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 get the hell out of here, there's the door. You've made Canada Channel what it is today. You're fired. If you really care, let's get rid of the PR machine. If you really care, why wouldn't you help some of that staff that you're laying off find gainful employment with other mortgage companies because the cycle of ramp up only to get laid off is as routine as an aging Madonna getting entirely unnecessary plastic surgery. Yuck. Hey, listen, so since the mortgage companies and industry is not doing this for all the staff that's getting laid off right now in our shrinking market, we over here at the National Real Estate Post and Mortgage Shots, we're going to do it. So to all mortgage support staff, we have created the Mortgage Shots employee bulletin board. There is absolutely no cost, no obligation. Your information will remain private. If employers want to reach out to you, it will be up to you to offer your full resume and your ID, not ours. Share your work history, licensing, designations, title, that type of thing. Give your next employer a sneak peek, and if they bite, well, you're back in the game. Now understand, we will not sell spam or do anything with any of your information. This is 100% our gift, our free gift to everybody in the industry when so many layoffs are taking place. We just spoke on yesterday's show about how the Fed stated it was going to aggressively reduce their balance sheet. That means rates are going to go up. We also told you how the Fed chief said that she was going to raise short-term rates more aggressively than she previously stated, which is also going to have rates going up. So why is the Fed reducing their balance sheet? Well, to pull some of that $7.75 trillion off their balance sheet and take some of that money out of the economy to try to get our 70-year high runaway train inflation under control. Now, the problem is rates are going to go up and our new close friend, the recession, is now poised to be much more forceful and demonstrative than we had thought before as a result of what the Fed is doing. So that's nice. When you look at the actions of our government right now as it pertains to mortgage rates, it's like we have an all-out assault to ensure that rates are going to go up higher and faster than anybody ever thought possible. And now we know it gets even better. The FHFA announced that they are taking measures to end conservatorship. That's right. FHFA Director Thompson said the agency is conducting the first pricing review for Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac products, pricing review, mind you, since 2015, to make sure that they are generating viable returns while still supporting affordability in the mortgage market. The pricing review is part of a multi-step process to unwind the GSEs from government-controlled conservatorship. And I quote, Oh, <laughs>
We're preparing the enterprises to adjust to supervision in a way that they would be regulated outside of conservatorship. The safety and soundness of the enterprises, making sure their operations are really in tip top condition, which they are, making sure their financial condition is as expected and that they never have to rely on the federal government ever again. This is really important. Okay, let's just pull our bootstraps up here and think about this for a second. Number one, using a term like never with the uh, GSEs is really, really a long time and it's kind of out of touch with the reality of the market. All we have to do is look around us. And number two, they're doing pricing reviews for the release of Fannie and Freddie because, ready? Drum roll people. A recap and release would all but ensure the higher cost for the 30 year fixed rate meat and potatoes agency conforming loan again. Yes, that's right. The recap and release would mean rates go up. Now, just remember that regardless of rates and market conditions, conditions, commerce finds a way to keep living, doesn't it? Which means you have a place in the mortgage and real estate industry. So don't fret this, my friends. Just keep your heads down and keep at it. And by the way, you're going to be better in the long run for having gone through a difficult market. But here we go.